Well, hello all you wonderful people out there in YouTube land. Welcome to the Texas Special YouTube channel. Now, what you got before you is uh, our November 2023 product review. These are Athern hopper cars. You've got a little two-bay hopper car here and a three-bay hopper car. These are both open-top hoppers. They're a little dated for the 1985 to 1995 time frame that I've selected for this Stars Hollow Railroad, but as placeholders, they work for now. Um, these will more than likely get cycled out later down the road, but for right now, the main priority is just having rolling stock to operate the railroad. And these guys fill the need nicely even though they are probably outside of the uh, reasonable you know time frame that I'm trying to duplicate here these are secondhand acquisitions uh, gentlemen at the gentleman came by the Texla model railroad club in orange Texas during one of our meetings and dropped off a buttload of HO scale uh, locomotives, freight cars, scenery materials, which is where a lot of the trees came from was, was that as well. Um, and a fair amount of ballast that I put down on this railroad came from that as well. But anyway, back to the cars. I uh, bought uh, five or six of these hopper cars all of them but this one were the three bay variety for two dollar a piece heck of a deal one of them needed to be uh i've got one or excuse me i have two that are not in service yet they need to be swapped over from the horn hook style couplers to the uh katie number fives but then again, those are also box hoppers with truck mounted couplers. All right, getting off into the nitty gritty of the details for these cars. You have the grab irons, stirrup steps, and some nice rivet detailing that's cast onto the car body. All of the lettering is nicely done. These cars are, as I said, they are dated. They are from the late 80s early 90s time frame got some respectable detailing here on these plastic trucks the bodies are plastic construction um, <coughs> you have metal weights here 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 and here the plastic is actually dyed the coloring is dyed into the plastic so these aren't painted uh, the decaling is very well done there is clear separation there's no flaking or cracking or anything like that of the of the lettering as in relation to the rivet detailing all of this lettering on this car is legible and the load and weight information is all correct both of these cars feature frictionless type trucks or frictionless bearing type trucks. Okay, looking at the undersides of the cars here. Uh, kind of interesting. You can see the body mounted knuckle couplers. These two cars came with number fives mounted already. You can see these, uh, they look like separately applied bay doors. They're actually not separately applied. They're molded on as part of the frame detailing here. Um, this, this was a kit car. This is an older model. Uh, looking at the frame, it may not be an Athern. It might be something else. Uh, any of you veteran model railroaders out there with this HO scale stuff, if you know what kind of cars they had with metal frames, please feel free to drop it in the comments. As I'm genuinely curious uh, these cars still have the plastic wheels that they came with however they are free rolling they have metal axles 
there's not a whole lot going on on the undersides of these cars you can I doubt you can see it because of the lighting but there are some cast on bay doors here and you have a metal uh, frame tube frame right here all right here we are looking at the B ends of the cars and you can see this car is backwards I'm gonna have to unscrew this and flip it around but this car is backwards all the brake apparatus is back here on what should be the A end but that's an easy fix um, you got the separately applied handbrake wheel You've got cast on uh, grab irons brakeman's perch and looking at this B end I can definitely tell that these are two different manufacturers I just have no clue what this guy is um, this one does not have a cast on brake chain detail this one does have the cast on brake chain detailing you got all your braces here on the end of the car that are cast onto the car body and uh, this car this Atherin car does not have any of the uh, brake apparatus detailing in the way of your main and emergency reservoir and your uh, triple valve or any of that other associated detailing. Alright, here we are looking at the A end of the cars. In the case of that Illinois Central hopper car, what should be the A end of the car. There you can see the main reservoir and emergency reservoir as well as the triple valve and the air brake piston right there. Um, not a big deal, it's a very easy fix. As you can see there's it's the A end, there's not a whole lot going on. You can see the KD number no. 5 is very well though. And since these are open top hopper cars, there is no roof to talk about. All you, the top of the car is actually the bottom of the car. Um, not a whole lot going on there either. Overall, these are cool little cars. I'm not going to do a separate run video for this product review because by this point, these cars have been featured numerous times in operations videos on the Stars Hollow Railroad. Uh, I broke my general rule of not using or showing equipment in videos until after it's been reviewed purely for the purposes of being able to put up content for this HO scale railroad. So by this time it and its brethren have been featured prominently on the channel numerous times so shouldn't be in by this point y'all should know how well these guys perform on the railroad um, thank y'all for watching thank you for the love and support you give the channel if you liked what you see and you're not a subscriber I hope you hit that subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber thank you for the love and support you give the channel and uh, y'all have a good one. Texas Special out.